lawn after all. And here to show us why is Phil Groves from Phil Groves Sewer Services. Phil, hey, all of these cutting devices are the old way that you grew up cleaning out sewer lines, right? This is the old way of doing things, yeah. And these are going to be replaced slowly with high pressure water technology where we can actually use water pressurized up to 4,000, 6,000 PSI to cut the roots out. And if the roots won't be cut by water, then it can be cut with a mechanical turbine actually inside the pipe. You'll finally get through there. But what we want to look at is a whole bunch of other technologies. So let's go over here and take a look at this. We used to work blind in sewers, not knowing what's going on. And look what they've got now on the end of this line. Now, you like that? <laughs> That's a camera that you run down the sewer? Down the sewer. Tell us about it while you're putting it in there. It's a self-illuminated, this is particular, it's a self-illuminated color camera. Okay. And it has a radio transmitter on the end of it. So whatever we're looking at in the line, we can always go through and identify where it is. Okay, so that's this thing I've got on here. You hear that beep. So as we come up here and just walk, that that's, tells me exactly where it is. And if I push all the right buttons, it'll tell me how it'll, deep and everything it'll else. It'll tell you the depth. And uh, it'll tell you exactly the location. So if we ever had to dig, we're not digging here, we're not digging there. We're digging for so I know right where to dig to get my frog. Okay, right to good. get where Now, I want to show you folks, let's take a look at a real video. You see, you can record a video while you're doing this and see exactly what is in a real sewer line here. Look at this thing running through. And uh, as you're coming along, this is kind of yucky stuff to watch, but it, you can identify exactly what the problem is, huh? Yeah. This uh, video that we're watching has tree root penetration coming into the system. And that tree root is interfering with the uh, flow of water. And here we're all the way out to the main sewer. Huh? The main line sewer in the street. Okay, so you were able to identify exactly where the roots were, exactly how big the problem was, and all of that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now, when you cut it out, they just come back, right? They grow back each season. People ask me all the time, "What can I do to stop it?" And you can't. You cut the tree down essentially. Cut the tree down. And if you don't want to cut the tree down, you now have a solution. Look at this, folks. Here's a crummy old pipe that it was broken up and in real trouble. And here is a brand new plastic pipe on the inside that you tell me is seamless all the way out to the sewer? Seamless out to the street. It can be put in lengths of up to 100 foot in length, which in most residential problems, that'll solve the problem. And so with no joints in this, because it's seamless, it means the tree roots will never try to get back in again. They'll try, but they won't get back in. And so it's a permanent solution. Permanent solution. How do you do this? How do you get this thing in there? Well, what we do, we have to go through and thoroughly TV inspect the sewer make sure that there isn't any other problems that occur in there. And then we slide a rope through the sewer and then pull a cable back in and then winch this apparatus into the sewer. Okay, and it looks like this when it's inside. It's some sort of a bladder. It's got this It has a, a felt material. Okay, look at it, folks, here. Here's your felt material, different sizes. And that material was, is what is going to become the pipe. That is becoming the new pipe. Okay, you wrap it around. Here we got a big bladder. Yep. You wrap it around the bladder like this. It's held in place with all these little rubber bands. Yeah, that just uh, keeps it in place. And how do you get the epoxy on there? The epoxy is uh, wetted out in a tub, and it's a matter of working the epoxy into the bladder. And Be before you put it in? Before it's inserted into the pipe. So this is all a wet, gooey mess. Yep. You pull it through this pull pipe through. that you've cleaned out, mm -hmm. and then you want to show us how this goes? You've got some compressed air over there? Yep. Now, we are not in a pipe, folks, which would normally constrain it right like, well, here, I'll be the pipe. Here we come. Wow. And now this is a big, all epoxied up, and it takes how long to dry? About four hours, John. And then, what? how do you get this out? The interior bladder is deflated, and it's inverted on the way out. And it just pulls back out pulls and leaves out. behind it this smooth pipeline all the way through like this, that's incredible. So this is a permanent solution to that old root problem. Yeah, and it doesn't only cover root problem. If there's a problem of structural integrity of cracking in the pipe. Old pipes like this? Yeah. And it replaces it. It replaces it, and municipalities are concerned about infiltration and exfiltration out of the sewers. Absolutely. So you're not doing anything oh. wrong to the groundwater. Yeah. Phil, thank you very much. Thank you. Technology has gone all the way down Replace. the drain. Renew with new flow. The patented new flow process restores pipes better than new. Turn this into this with new flow. By applying an epoxy coating to the inside of the pipe, the water never touches metal again. No digging, no destruction, no mess. So don't replace, 
Renew with new flow. Call 1-800-834-9597 for an in-home consultation.